Hi everyone, Bo Rohde coming to you from Houston, Texas, and I'm here today to talk about automatic region selection, as well as other enhancements inside of our Mastercam 2022 2D dynamic toolpaths. Let's take a look. The first thing you notice is the chaining dialog has a few new options, including automatic regions, where you can select a region and Mastercam will define your cut region, your avoidance regions, as well as air regions automatically. We also have the other option to convert these features into standard chains, allowing us to edit those chains as needed. Under our avoidance region, we have a new option to add additional clearance to our avoidance region. And if we take a quick look under that, in our air regions, you can see we now have a new tab as well for expand regions. So what is all this? Let's explain. I'll start off selecting this green face for my automatic region. And when we preview our chain or create the toolpath, we can see that it handles the definition perfectly with no additional input. Adding air regions over the small holes and on the open face. Now let's take a look at this blue area that has a boss to avoid. I'm going to select my automatic regions again. Just going to select the blue area. Notice how it selects the whole outside outer edge as well as around my avoidance and the area to cut is automatically defined. These interior boss are automatically avoided as well. What if we have avoidance and air region on a single face? Yeah, we can handle that too. I'll just select the orange area in the center and with one click I've selected not only our machining region, we've selected our avoidance region and we've selected our air region with just a single click. Another option for my toolpath is the clearance tab, which we will allow us to add additional clearance around certain avoidance regions if needed. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put one millimeter of clearance around my avoidance regions. When I preview my chains, notice we still have that same chaining options with our air region. And when I back plot this with my quick verify on, you can see the additional clearance around the avoidance regions. The new expanded air regions option will help with this green face. The original preview chain is kind of squared off. And if we look at our back plot, due to the fact that we're kind of squaring off the radius of the tool, so it's not violating the outside of this air region. So we leave this little green area right here in the corner. If we go back and click on expand regions and preview my chain, Notice that it's giving the end mill more room to, to what I call roam outside of the cutting area. Now when our tool runs, notice how it's allowing the tool to come into the part a little bit sooner. And you can see now the tool is getting full engagement of all material coming out of the air region into the cut. I really like this one. The last thing that I want to take a look at is the convert. So I'm starting with a single face, but when I select the Convert Automatic Regions button, notice it splits it out into individual chains for each cut, air, and avoidance regions. So if I look at this air region, I'm going to go in and select the regions chain. And notice we have our air region chain that we have selected, which means I can individually delete, modify, or add chains as well to the automatic selection. So it's a great combination of one click simple definition, but with the flexibility to split up the individual chains so you can have full control.